Hello students, I am Bika Sher. In this video lesson, I am going to teach you the difference between the present perfect tense and the past indefinite tense. There are some differences in their usage. I am going to discuss them in six different patterns. Let's go to the first pattern. Pattern 1. We use present perfect tense if the situation is not different from the past or has not changed what it was in the past. So we use present perfect tense in those cases. We do not use past tense, simple past tense in those cases or past indefinite tense in those cases. Remember that. Examples, he has gone to Delhi. He went to Delhi last year. There is a phrase last year that indicates he went to Delhi last year and it is possible that he has returned. In the first case, he has gone to Delhi. The effect is still on. That means he has not yet returned. He is still in Delhi. So we use present perfect tense in that case and we use simple past tense or past indefinite tense in the second case simply because we mean to say that he went to Delhi last year and then came back from there. Now look at the second example. I lost my purse in the morning. In the morning, recent past. Why it is in the past tense? We should have used present perfect tense in recent past. But we have used simple past tense in this case. Because I have found it now. So I lost it and now I have found it. The situation that was in the morning has changed. It is different from what was in the morning. So there is a difference between the usage of simple past tense and present perfect tense. Now we go to the pattern number 2. We use present perfect tense for new or recent incidents but simple past tense for remote, not recent things or incidents. Example, he has passed the exam this year. The result has come out recently. He has passed the exam this year. The result has come just uh, about one week ago. So it is an incident that has taken place recently. But when we refer to remote past, then we use simple past tense or past indefinite. I passed the exam in 1988. It was long ago. So, we should use simple past tense in this case. Now look at the second example. I have written a poem in this morning in the morning. That means I have written a poem. This is in the present perfect tense simply because I may write it again, write another poem again because I am still living. But in case of Rabindranath, we should use past tense, simple past tense because unfortunately he died. So he cannot write any more poems. So we must refer to that incident in the simple past tense. Now we go to the pattern 3. We use present perfect to talk about new information. When we give some new information during the course of conversation, we must use present perfect tense. But while continuing about the same subject, we must use simple past tense. Remember that. Example, now look at the conversation between a boy and his friend. The boy said, I have downloaded a video. It is with him or with his uh, gadget, smartphone or computer. 
So he said, I have downloaded a video. Friend answer, when did you download? He uses past tense because he is speaking about an incident, an action that is finished already. Boy, I did it two hours ago. As the word ego is there, two hours ago, it happened in the past. So he uses simple past tense here. Friend, have you gone through this yet? The word yet indicates that the action may not yet happened. So it is in the present perfect tense. Let's move to pattern four. We don't use present perfect tense to describe completed events with such expressions of time as last in 2000 or 2010, yesterday, ago. All these words indicate past time. So with these expressions, we do not use present perfect tense. Example, he returned from the USA in 1995, long ago. So we use simple past tense. He went to Goa seven years ago, not now. He met his uncle last week. He played in this ground in his childhood. Now he is a grown up man. So all these things happened in the past, completed in the past and are used with such ex time expressions as last, yesterday, ago. So we use simple past tense or past indefinite tense. Now we go to pattern 5. We use present perfect with such expressions as today, just yet, this morning, this week, this month, this year, this century. All these expressions, time expressions, indicate that they have some relationship with the present time. So, we do not use simple past tense here, we use present perfect tense here. Look at the examples. He has not reached yet. It is related to the situation remains the same at present. It is related to the present time now. So we use present perfect tense. He has just left for office. Just recently concluded. The effect is still now. He has come here for several times. Several times this month. This month or he may come again this month. So it is indefinite period of time when it happens is not mentioned but it is a period of time this month means a period of time and the action may take place again during this month as this month has not yet ended. So we use present perfect tense in such cases. We use simple past to talk about this morning after 1 p.m. Because after 1 p.m. it becomes noon. So, we may say, I did this, I did it this morning when I am speaking about the action at 4 p.m. That is almost afternoon. And we speak about the action of the morning. So we say, I did, the, did it this morning. Now pattern 6, we use simple past to ask questions with when or what time. Examples, when did he arrive? We should not use present perfect tense in such cases. What time did he do the work? Okay, thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe, share, comment and like for more videos like this. This will clear your doubts about using the subtle grammatical terms. Thank you.